Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for fair trade Bible study that's environmentally and socially sustainable. So glad you joined me today. We're looking at Psalm 144. We're in the home stretch here in the Psalter, aren't we? We won't be long. We'll be talking about Psalm 150. and But today we're in verses, uh, let's see, we're in verses 10, 11, and 12. One thing that I haven't mentioned is the division, the way this psalm is laid out. Viser gives a nice little outline. I think I'm going to follow his outline. First of all, he gives this, he gives an outline in three pieces, Thanksgiving, verses 1 through 5, Petition, verses 6 through 11, and then Happiness is 12 through 15. I I guess I really kind of gravitate towards that just because of the happiness part. The happiness part comes in after the petition. So there's thanksgiving and petition and then happiness because the request has been made and now here's the result. And the result is clearly identified by the psalmist. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Today, verses 10, 11, and 12. So we're going to end the petition section and begin the happiness part. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouths speak vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as corner pillar stones, polished after the similitude of a palace. All right, that's verses 10 through 12. You'll notice repetition here also. We have again, uh, basically, verses 7 and 8 here in verse 11. You notice, set thy hand from above, or send thy hand from above in verse 7. And then we have the rid me and deliver me out of great waters. Well, here we have rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children. So the the strange children come in again. We have that same statement that occurs in the end of verse 7. Now is in the um, first part of verse 11. And then all of verse 8 is repeated here at the end of verse 11. Whose mouth speak vanity, the right hand is the right hand of falsehood. So a repetition here of the petition. He's so sincere about saying this prayer, you know, set me, deliver me, rid me. I, I love that word, rid me. Rid me and deliver me. And in verse 7, it's out of great waters. In verse 10, it's from the hurtful sword. So I wonder if those two aren't parallel with one another, the great waters and the hurtful sword. They're either parallel, they're mentioning the same thing in David's mind and heart, they're the same thing. And so one is a similitude of the other, the hurtful or the great waters and the hurtful sword. So this is, you know, all about his enemies that have, Uh, triumphed for a moment in David's life and have persecuted him, such as Saul and Absalom and others. Because all of this was written during the time when David had been rescued and delivered from all of his enemies. They'd been put down under his feet. So he's writing this as a psalm of praise, but his prayer is still concerned with the enemy. The enemy has been highlighted all throughout the Psalter. Look at verse 12, because here we begin the happiness section, and you'll notice how happy it is that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace. So this comes from Deuteronomy 28. This is the blessing section in Deuteronomy. And for the person who's faithful, this is part of the blessing, the happiness that comes due to faithfully walking in the word and following God's way. So sons grow up as plants. Daughters are like corner pillars, polished, you know, like a palace. And then if you keep, if you let your eyes fall down to 13, 14, you'll notice that we have more of the that hour, that hour, that hour, that there be. So more of this blessing is going to fall in here in the uh, in the remainder of the psalm. Join me tomorrow. We're going to look at 13 through 15 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. 
I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.